Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It was home time. This was Saturday morning, the end part of our walk. And I was all coming off the rock face voluntarily, including Harry, which is always a good sign. When Harry's had enough, <laughs> we've all had enough. I know I have. I mean, my walk, and I use that term loosely, their adventure, uh, a minimum now of an hour. Usually it's pushing two hours. And by that time, the sun's up, it's getting hot, and we're all worn out. So for him to be coming towards me is a good sign. And usually, when he's satisfied with what he's done, he's had enough, it's, as I say, it's usually a good day because he won't bother about too much else. Although saying that, I've got a new problem with him now and it's my fault really. You've all seen my neighbour's cat, Ninja, the black one. I mean, when he first came into the garden, he would play with the other cats. He was a lot of fun, but these days he comes down, he's constantly hungry, morning and afternoon. If I don't feed him, he sits on the kitchen roof wailing. Harry. And when I feed the others, he will fight them and steal their food, especially the blind cats. And they all dislike him. Harry. William hates him. William will chase on, him Harry. across the terrace, across the roof. Uh, Ninja's scared of him. But Harry now is doing the same as William. And twice since the weekend, I've seen Harry chase Ninja across the terrace, up the stairs, and up over the gate and onto the road. He's being a cat, which is what I wanted him to be. But I, I can't take my eyes off of him now. You know, when the other cats, when William, Kira, Momo, Dipper even, when they're out in the garden, I don't worry because they just plod around. When it gets too hot, they'll find a bit of shade, maybe somewhere with a breeze and they go to sleep. Harry won't, he won't rest. He sits down, he's fidgeting, he gets up, he moves, sits down. And this goes on and on, it plays out for however, however long he's out. And if I can see him, it's not a problem. But if I take my eyes off him and he moves and I don't know where he's gone, then I've got a problem. So, you know, when I first moved into the house six years ago, the village was so quiet. And black people had cars, but they used to just drive normally. I was, but now there are, there are more and more people flooding onto the island and the cars are getting ever more bigger and powerful and because it's a, I mean, where I live is on a bend. And instead of people slowing down, they tend to speed up as they come around the bend. I worry now for not only the blind cats, I worry for all my cats. Nobody cares anymore. It's not safe for, for the animals here now. Not only up here, in the village. They tear through the village. Sign of the times, I guess. So we were <laughs> making our way back. Still about 50, 60 metres from the road. But we were going in the right direction. And because it was Saturday morning and it was getting later, 
I carried Harry all the way down the road. I didn't let him run with the others. And he didn't mind, so he must have had a really good walk. And when we got back, Kira, yeah, on, Buffers. Hair Bear, and a few of the others were on the driveway. So they had another game on the driveway. You know, when I watch Harry coming down the stairs, when my first blind kittens came home, one of the myths was, oh, don't let them come down the stairs on their own. They'll have an accident, they'll fall, they'll hurt themselves. Mine have never had a problem coming down steps. Initially, they take it slowly, so they get used to the height and the, uh, the depth of the steps. But now, and you've all seen Harry climb up a ladder, There's Kira, the black cat there. She's blind. And the other black cat there is Hair Bear. Hair Bear can see. Dipper and Fergus, Woody and um, Buffers. William! Come on, William. That's Jasper. And here comes William, senior blinder. Come on, Williams. He's one of my shadows. I have two permanent shadows. Big Fergus and William. You know, even when I go out, if I have to go down to the village, when I come back, one or both of them are waiting by the gate. I'm so lucky to have the cats that I have and the relationship that I've got with them. You know, not all of them, but some of them, it's, uh, no, it is a wonderful relationship. How are you? Hey, Smudgy. Wherever I sit down, I guarantee William will find me. And he'll come and sit with me. But you know, he's like a ghost. He'll appear and disappear. I won't hear him, even if we're in the garden. No rustling of leaves, nothing. He's there or he's gone. I've noticed Harry does the same. Hope you've all enjoyed the uh, the videos of our Monday uh, Saturday morning walk. Sorry, if you have, please give us a like and subscribe, a share, a comment, a question, anything. And there's more to come, everyone.
We will see you all again very soon.